Hello everyone, welcome to Code Enzyme and in this video let's discuss this problem Zor, Zor I1, whatever the name is. Uh, you are given integer x and we want to print two integers a and b such that the difference between them is minimum and the Zor of these two integers is x and these two integers should be less than equal to x. So let's see the uh, sample input and I think uh, the only interesting test case is here is 6. Uh, so let's first discuss that. So we have six, um, and there are very uh, there are many. Uh, I mean, we can take zero and six. Uh, the Zor will one, or we can take two and four. So clearly, two and four have uh, are closer to each other. So our answer is two and four, and there are no other uh, pairs of integers which are uh, less than six and more closer than two and four. So the answer is four. Uh, so the answer is uh, two and four. And, you, and it is also given that uh, if there are multiple, where is that? Uh, okay, if there are multiple array, such pairs uh, that have the same difference, we can print any of them. And we want to find this in big O of log n time, I think. Right. So what we can do here is uh, let's say we have some integer x. I mean, let's take the example. Like if I have something x as uh, let's take it in binary one zero one one zero one and zero something like that. Okay, and we want to find the uh, we want to find the integer with closest reference. So we can consider a as one zero 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 zero, and let my currently b will is all zeros. And whenever wherever my I have a one here, then there I can make it a one. So I'm increasing my b. My a is fixed at some two to the power n something, and I'm increasing my b wherever wherever I am finding one. So this will cause me a difference. Uh, this will give me the smallest a and b possible with the minimum difference. So when uh, and I think you all uh, and to solve this there are some prerequisite, prerequisites. You should be familiar with uh, bitwise operators. Like okay, let's take this example of six. So for six we have one one zero right. Uh, four plus two is six. Now. Currently, I will assume my answer is one zero zero and b is equals to zero zero zero. And now I will iterate over six like this in this manner. And wherever I will find uh, like okay, we have some, we have a uh, like if I am going like this and I see that okay, I have a one here. Then what can I do? Like if I have a one here. Uh, then I can say like okay I have to make like, no I can't I can there is one there are two possibilities either I can make my a equals to one one zero and b is equals to zero 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 that this is corresponds to six comma zero pair or I can make my a equals to one zero zero and b is equals to zero one zero because these two should be different to make it equal to one right so that is why now if I am increasing my a my difference is increasing. And to decrease the difference, I don't want to increase my a. I only want to increase my b. So that is how it will give me the minimum difference. And this is the approach. So let's quickly try to code this up. And the contest is running, so I don't want to waste my time. Uh, that is why I'm giving quick explanations. Otherwise, I would explain you more, uh, go in more detail. So sorry about that. Now let's uh, just try to code this up very quickly. Yeah. So first we have integer n. I think uh, okay. We only have an integer n. Now first I need to find my a. Uh, so I can say okay. Let's take int a equals to one. I also want to count the number of bits. So let's say count. Then I can say while a times two is less than equals to n. Till then I will multiply my a by two. So a is equals to a times two and uh, count plus plus. So I will get the maximum power uh, of two that is here. I mean there might be some other implementations also. Uh, I just want to go that very quickly. Now I can say, okay, I have the count variable. I think uh, the six is the only uh, interesting test case here. So I will just do it for that <laughs> test case only. Now uh, let's print what is my count variable. So C on count. Okay, so I have a count variable. 
now i can say uh, again go in reverse manner so i will go from count minus 1 to 0 if uh one less than less than i so 2 to the power i and uh, n if there uh, that has a one then what did i do i have a equal to 1 and b equal to 0 so i will say okay b is equals to b or one less than less than i so i'm setting that uh, bit of b to 1 now i can in the end i can simply print a with a space of and b and end it so i think i, sh I will print b go my instead and i by mistake wrote i less than less than i it should be one less than less than i so to the power i and now let's try to submit this and see if it is working So yeah it gave us a correct answer and if you learned something guide like this video and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next time thank you